what's up guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is ivy if you're new here karibu sana thank you for clicking on this video and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for always returning back to my videos um in this week's video i know i have stayed like forever <laughs> but in this week's video i am doing a get ready with me i am going for a meet and greet in town and i thought yeah let's get ready together so i want to do my hair i currently held it in a bun for the, like, the past one week and it's not looking cute so yeah i went to make my hair then after hair we're gonna go to makeup then after makeup outfits so yeah i'm gonna put you through time lapse cause it's gonna take forever but yeah through drought and famine natural disasters my baby has been around for me kingdoms are falling so i've just sectioned out my hair because i realized working with it in like the whole you know itself is quite hard so i've sectioned out the hair and i'm just gonna start from the bottom working all the way to the top and i'm gonna use gel this is eco styling gel forgive the packaging yeah but this is eco styling gel the pink one so i'm gonna use this uh this brush and uh this olive edge control for my edges though my edges don't even really lay will you guys let me know what type of edges you guys use edge control because mine i have tried all the edge control and this is legit legit and they don't work so i don't know so yeah let me walk through then guys so um kind of done but i'm not like finalize it because i still have to put <coughs> a silk scarf on it's not that neat because my hair <laughs> i'm not really feeling the hair today but i'm gonna go over with the uh, edge control lay my edges and then put on the silk scarf i don't know if you can see the i'm using natural lighting so it's kind of tricky but I'll insert a video where I'll show you guys the final look. But let me just yeah, let me lay my edges and then put on a scarf. Then we jump onto makeup. All right, I don't know if you can see, but I've laid my edges. So really. Anyway, so I'm gonna put on the silk scarf on top, silk scarf, and then go and take a shower, come back quickly, do my makeup because I'm really late. Then, yeah, so this is the silk scarf that I'm using. I got this from Gikomba at I don't know, like 20 bob or something, but yeah, I'm going to place it really tight. Wait, before I do that, okay, let me just place it real tight, yeah, just for a few seconds, then we'll get into it. So yeah, guys, I'm just done showering. 
I'm going to prep my skin then start with the makeup so I'm going in with the uh, art naturals hyaluronic acid blah 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 yara yara The title of the video is, is a small story time that I'm gonna share with you guys and this is regarding the other day I posted on I posted my son with a dog and I got so many inquiries like oh and yeah <laughs> that dog Mm. Okay, anyway, let's get to that dog. We got it when it was a puppy, and it's a bobel, a South African bobel. And uh, we got it when it was what six months, I guess six months old. It was really tiny. I don't know if I'll find a picture and set it there. It was really tiny. So we got it and we home trained it. Uh, we kind of tried because <laughs> it. It listens to some commands sometimes yeah but it's not it's not aggressive it's not really aggressive okay it's not aggressive when it's around us or when we are around it with other people so it, it like for example if you go for a walk and you're walking with it it won't like jump on you or anything it'll just pass you by by the way I'm going in with the Neutrogena oil free moisture I don't know if you guys can see it this one so yeah back to what i was saying it's, it's not um it's not really aggressive so the other day i was trying to familiarize my son with it because i really want my son not to be afraid of animals especially dogs because i've grown up with dogs so i wanted him to be you know like not to be afraid of dogs so to come to Inja, a veranda where the dogs are it was really my my uh, younger brother and my niece so we were with him at that time leo was what he was i think nine months there there about he was nine months there so we were seated there and we had just finished familiarizing leo with the dog so it actually like you know knew this is a baby it's a baby of the house yada yada so we're just seated we're just chilling so this time uh, we're waiting. I don't know what we were waiting for anyway. We were just chilling after the whole familiarization. It went well. The dog like now knows who Leo is in the house and it's very gentle with the baby. Like I'll get there anyway. So we're seated. My brother is holding the baby on the lap. I'm seated next to him and my niece is just playing around. So my younger sister, she comes and she's holding, um, what is she holding? Um, she's holding a bag like Unona Vene, you can have dirty laundry and you put it in a sheet and then we fung and then you like have it, you carry it like this. So she was coming to do her laundry up in jail. So we were kind of seated next to where she was gonna do her laundry. So she was walking towards us first, then to where she was gonna do her laundry. So the dog is just seated there. Cause it's like it knows my sister. It's not like I am Jew in I'm Jewa. Kwanza, it's like more closer to my sister than Sisi Wengine. So it knows my sister. So my sister is walking towards us with the key, the bundle of dirty clothes she's coming to wash. And once she gets like, after Sisi Wengine say me ajini, come out to hapa, and she gets there. I'm telling you the dog almost kill her because anyway these bobbles were bred for hunting in the in south africa so they were hunting i think leopards and lions so it's a hunter dog and i'm telling you the way it almost pounced on my sister and we were so confused because i 
this is Talia, unajua Talia, why would you like want to attack her? And it was so furious. You know, you know a dog is furious when he's in your hapa, the backbone hairs see Messi Mama. It was barking until it was peeing, like I don't know how to explain it. <sighs> Jesus, so me was so scared. My brother is the one who was with the baby. So my brother picked up the baby, aka toka like mbali na eh. So my brother is moving away and the dog is like the dog is facing my sister, barking at my sister, but it's moving with my brother. So see my brother is moving back and the dog is moving back with my brother but facing and barking at my sister. So my sister was like, Ay, what's wrong? So she went back in the house. Poly poly put the bundle down, then she came back with some with some treats. So she comes back and the dog is okay. The dog is just it's not even bothering. It's like mm, it's like nothing happened. You get so later on we came to find out that the dog was being protective of the baby. And we were just like, I that's so cute. Like that's really, really cute. Ay ay ay. I still have some. The problem with this sunscreen in a quarter with some white not a white cast with some white nini on your face. So I'm trying to get rid of that. So where were we? Yeah. I was just going to get edge control for my eyebrows. Cause I don't have like the soap. The ones that you guys use. So yeah, we later came to find out that the dog was being protective of the baby. So the dog is really protective of the baby, regardless of who you are. And that really shook me. And even up until now, when anyone else is holding the baby and... Okay, the reason why it actually pounced on my sister or was getting to pounce on my sister was because she was holding the bag, the bundle. So the dog was like, I, sorry, do you want to attack the baby or do you want to harm the baby? Do you get me? So yeah, and I really love that dog for that. Like, at a size, I know when I put the baby there and the dog is there, it's really gentle with the baby. You can't even tell, like, it's, uh, it's a rough dog because it's a rough dog. Ukisi mama there and it just asks. <laughs> My best friend, she came home, yeah? <laughs> I don't know if I'm debating, but anyway, she came home. And she sat where my mom usually sits because, okay, yeah, she just sat there. So this dog, it's called Spike. So when it enters the house, it knows mommy usually sits there. So the first thing it does, it, you know, goes to jump on her when she sits on the chair. And my mom hates that. She's like, ah, So now, see, Skella was seated there and the dog happened to enter the sitting room. The first thing Spike did was just jump at her. I'm telling you, Skyla was so scared. <laughs> she was so scared. And it's it, it doesn't bite. Let me tell you something. My dog, it doesn't bite. It will just jump at you and all that shenanigans. But it will not bite you. I don't think I'm going to put any product on my eyebrows because they were shaped. But also, do they really look like... Hmm. I'm going for a light makeup look, so I'm not going to put any product on there. I think that's enough. Maybe just to shape it. Yeah, I'm going to conceal. That's about it. That's about that with our dog. It's not a bad dog. It's a really nice dog, really understanding dog. And the fact that it protects the baby, I know I can leave the dog and the baby and the dog i mean the baby there and the dog will protect him and that's what i really love about the dog yeah so let me know do you guys have dogs or do you fear dogs because <laughs> i do not fear dogs we've lived with dogs all my entire life so i'm not really scared of dogs however big however small Yep. So I'm just concealing my eyebrows. I'm not put any product on it. I don't think I'm gonna. 
because I'm, I'm going for, I don't have lashes and I don't like putting on having makeup on without any lashes so I'm just gonna you know try and look as natural as possible because when I put on lots of makeup without lashes I end up looking like a freak I don't know I just end up looking like I'm confused or something and nobody's trying to look like that nobody's trying to look like that also if you guys are enjoying the video please give it a like it doesn't cost anything it's free just hit the like button it really helps youtube to push out this content and we're trying to make it in this content industry so yeah help our sister out subscribe if you haven't just subscribe i'd really appreciate it and there are more videos to come and i'm just gonna do my i'm done with my eyebrows i'm just gonna do my shadow my eyeshadow then yeah I'm using the Nivea strawberry shine you can get this on Jumia please use my link I'm gonna link this product and any other product that I got from Jumia on the description box and you can shop using my link and that would really help me so yeah let me just finish doing my makeup I'm gonna outfit i'm not i'm still not sure um the event starts at two and eight <laughs> what time is it it's well past like almost getting to 2 30. so i want to show you the outfit i'm not sure if i'm gonna put on this dress yet i'm feeling like I'm, it's too short for like a day event sorry about the lighting I'm feeling it's too short for a day event so i put on a couple of accessories this retro sunnies hoops um necklace my watch and some earrings on both hands mm. and i feel like it came out so well because i wanted something nude and neutral right so i want to show you the look that i'd wear but at night I, I just feel like i'm gonna put on um pants on top to just tone down the look because it looks like a night event outfit and but i may just put it on because i'm looking good like i may just put it on you know what i'm saying <laughs> anyway guys let me show you the outfit then let me know should i put this on like this or should I put on trousers into it? So this is the dress. Forgive the mic. I don't think the sounding is cool, but this is the dress. You know what, let me just remove the mic. I don't know if you can see me, but yeah. This is the dress. I think it's kind of a little bit short. Yeah. So I'm gonna top it on with this. It's a 
two-way fur coat, leather coat kind of thing. I don't know. It's my mom's. <laughs> so this is the actual side you can wear. It's brown and yeah. But since it's cold, I'm gonna switch it up to this side. If you can see, it's far. Not far. It's like a teddy teddy coat, yeah. So I'm just gonna slip it on. Like this, yeah. But then I feel like it's too short. I feel like I'm gonna look like this girl does not know. You know, you get so but it's cute giving body I don't know if you can see I like it I like everything about it but I just feel like it's not can you hear me I feel like whew, I feel like it's not um, for the right event or rather I feel like this is for a night out so let me see if I can put on pants and see how it looks because I'm gonna put on sneakers anyway. I was thinking of putting on heels, but then it's gonna look like a night event. So let me add some pants. We see how this thing goes, okay? I feel about this. I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> like I've just killed the whole look but I think I'm gonna have to put it on like so so yeah this look I don't I don't like I don't like when I plan something and then now it comes out to something else and then we're out here looking like a confused girl, you know what I'm saying? Mm -mm. But I like it anyway, it's 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 okay. I think I'm gonna go with this. Because this is a little bit way more decent. Do you get me? Like it's decent for the event. Plus, if I see babes looking good, I'm just gonna chuck trousers do you get me yeah and that's it so i'm just gonna end this video here let me just okay i'm just gonna end this video here thank you guys so much for staying with me as i got ready um i'm not gonna vlog because it can't see me I'm, I'm not i don't have a good phone to vlog yet so i'm not gonna vlog so yeah i'm just gonna end the video here Thank you guys for okay thank you guys for staying with me um see you in the next one bye